Hello there. This is David Williams from the Electronic Engineering Technology Department at Okanagan College and this short video is about half-wave rectifiers. Now a half-wave rectifier is a fairly simple circuit that takes an AC source and effectively turns it into a DC source. Now one thing that you need to remember here as we're going as I'm going through this description is that DC simply means that the current is always in one direction but it can still be a changing value. So what we have here is a simple circuit with an AC source, a diode which is what's doing the rectification and so oftentimes diodes are called rectifiers and that's one of the main purposes of diodes is to rectify signals or to convert it from AC to DC and a load of some kind and you can see over here we've got an oscilloscope that's connected to the voltage source as well as an oscilloscope that's connected to the load and you can see here we have the AC signal on the left hand side connected to the source and over here it's a DC signal across the load it's a changing voltage across the load and therefore changing current but you'll see that it never goes below zero so that current is always in one direction now to really see what's going on here it's a li I think it's going to be a little bit more instructive to take this and this and show that on the same scale on the same graph and we don't really care about what the actual magnitudes and what the actual time scale is so I'm just going to draw the here's my voltage and here's my time if we're looking at the positive cycle what's going to happen is this diode will become forward biased when the input voltage is above, above the forward voltage of this diode. So let's say that the forward voltage of this diode is 0.7 volts. So once the input voltage is above 0.7 volts, this diode becomes forward biased and current will go through it and therefore current will go through the load. So we'll have some kind of voltage across the load and the voltage across the load will be the input voltage minus the forward voltage of the diode. So here's what the output's going to look like on the positive cycle. At this point in time here, that's when the diode here becomes forward biased and the output will then follow the input but be about 0.7 volts left or whatever that or less than the input. So because of the because of the forward bias voltage across the diode. Now when the when the input signal goes negative, that diode is reverse biased, no current's going through the load therefore we will have no voltage across the load and then the input again becomes positive over here and as soon as it as soon as the diode becomes forward biased there will be current through the load we will have vn minus about 0.7 volts will be applied across the load and this will just carry on forever and so we're going to have output signal about 0.7 volts less than the input signal a couple of quick pieces of information about the input and output signals. Well, the frequency of the output signal is going to be equal to the frequency of the input signal. They, they look quite a bit different, but they repeat themselves at the same, they've got the same period, and therefore they've got the same frequency. The average or the DC voltage of this output signal is equal to the peak value of the output signal over pi. The RMS value of the output signal is equal to the peak value of the output signal over 2. And of course the voltage of the output signal is going to be equal to whatever the voltage of the input signal is minus the forward voltage of the diode. So hopefully you learned a little bit in this video about half-wave rectifiers and I'll see you in the next one.